Hello and welcome back for another uh, episode of the Russian campaign I'm playing. So, I believe we've reached the edge of Golden Horn territory. Um, so once we've sieged them and taken care of this little army here, all that will be really left to do is to finish off seizing their lands. So we've discovered Cartagena, which I believe is out in the New World, so not of importance right now. I just lost a general, that's unfortunate. Okay, you can head up here. Okay, Bulgar is ours. Fantastic. Colonists down here are coming along quite nicely, apart from the occasional few that seem to fail. We have really high success chance, but it's just not, it's just not happening. Okay, we discovered Coda, which has been occupied by Siberian nationalists. Ah, this is an event I've not seen before. like somebody pretty epic has been born to us. So shall we name him after Alexander the Great or Julius Caesar? I've, I, like I said, I've never had this event before. I'm not sure what it leads to. But... Ugh. <laughs> I, I have a completely silly thought process as far as this goes. Alexander sounds quite Russian, but I am quite a fan of Caesar, so I'll, I'll pick him. Why not? <laughs> Caesar is the new heir to the throne. I'm going to have to look up this event and see what it actually means, but um, he actually seems fairly middling as far as stats go. So. Still, it's very nice to see a heir with a strong claim. It'll be nice to not have to worry about pretender rebels. Okay, more revolts. <laughs> Easily dealt with. We're also building a few carracks uh, around the Crimean region because we <laughs> were beaten by a band of pirates last episode. I say, in my defence, we're not a naval nation. So the Golden Horde, they have all of their territories occupied by myself. Their army is being chased down, yet they're still not willing to offer tribute. I'm definitely not saying I'll be willing to accept that, but it would be nice to have it offered for once. Okay, hopefully we can finish the colony in Mordvar. So we've actually reached the area where the culture has changed to Siberian rather than Tartar. Okay, so Solid Camps, along with its centre of trade, is ours. And I have decided to destroy the centre of trade. All that, uh, well, that was before I'd considered these eastern provinces. Um, hang on, one moment. So, what's happening here? Okay, this is the area covered by um, Astrakhan. Solicamps does have all of this trade, so I think that's a fairly sensible division. The only risk I have though is that stagnation will cause the centre of trade to decline. Well, okay. We'll be getting some more provinces added to it at the moment. I mean, yeah, to be fair, most of the provinces dealing through here are currently besieged, so that won't be helping matters. So yeah, I'll leave all three centres of trade for now. The 
plan was basically to destroy the central trade in Solikamsk, which would bring more trade through Astrakhan and secure its future. But I think, realistically, we'll have enough trade at one at some point. Uh, let's have a workshop. Okay, production tech increase, 2% bonus to our production efficiency. Our production is coming up quite severely now, it's almost as much as tax. That trend is going to continue. Okay, these armies really do need reinforcing. They've been split up a few too many times. And the Conquistador is dead. He did not last very long at all. Ah, so it's a recurring decision. Oh, that's pretty cool. It also means I'll be able to gain a colonist each time that Conquistador dies, which could be seen as being a bit exploitative, so I won't be doing too much of that. I'll enact that decision once we're willing once we're able to continue exploring, which won't be for a while. I'm gonna build four regiments of infantry at the moment. Oh, whoops, cavalry. Uh, well, okay, two cavalry, one infantry. Hopefully that will, won't, won't be so much that we'll be at risk of deficit, but it looks okay. These rebels should not be posing the problems they are, but <laughs> I just spread my army so thin we're not able to wipe them out or quickly take Okay, so the next colonist will go to Pensa because these two will finish naturally pretty soon. Oh, you're still alive. theocracy if we wish. And yeah, as I feared, we're at risk of running into a deficit. So let's mint a little bit more. And Kazak has shown up, so I shall take this army and begin to head into their provinces. Could be concerning if they head north and take out my small groups of troops. Well, the naval forces are now complete. So I shall send everyone out and hopefully <laughs> I've built enough to deal with them this time. And uh, yes, Saratel has become part of our domain. Come on guys, this is embarrassing. <laughs> Two carrots in Crimea and two in Sherson. They should be enough to patrol these waters. So, out of interest, Kazakh only has a thousand infantry. Yeah, they've 
been taken care of again, but they're still being stubborn. If I could just take code over and bring our troops down, we'd have a nice little group. I may as well bring up this army here. Finish them off. Circus Dan is ours. Ah, Fort 2. That's a very nice bonus. I'll bring this group down to Kurgan. So one more colonist to Pensa, and that should take care of these two. Afterwards, we shall continue heading east. I think Ufa would be the natural <coughs> province to expand into. Ah, uh, this seems still going on. Very quickly put down that Revelia. Uh, yep, we're going to continue resisting the demands for westernization until, well, assuming we ever find ourselves in a position to modernize our military. That requires f full centralization, which will realistically require a different government form. Okay, I'm going to head east into Siberia, pick up a colonist, and a conquistador, more importantly, and we shall continue. So, Tara is ours, these armies can regroup, finally. This army will take care of the rebels, and these guys can split up and get in some kind of a defensive mode. I'll bring this army north and I'll reinforce them with troops once I can afford them. Okay, the colonist in Penso was successful. I think Jatiru would be a nice addition. Okay, that's finally taken care of. Samara has defected, and it looks like the value of trade is increasing. Basically, I have absolutely no interest in accepting defeats from the Golden Horde. This is righteous payback for the grief they gave us in earlier in the campaign. And all 
their lands will belong to me. Well, that's interesting. I'm not sure why there's Golden Horde and Golden Horde Asia. I mean, the lands are kind of grouped together. Normally, you only get different names when their land is split up into two. How are the Timurids doing out of interest? 89,000 troops. But one thing you need to bear in mind is that they're sat on Lamb Tech 5, so with a concerted effort, we would easily be able to move in and deal with them. Okay, discovered Nadine, let's siege that and continue marching east. Wow, by the looks of things, they've come well into India. Ah, oh, I wish that wasn't... <laughs> I'm very tempted to explore that, just to kind of see what that looks like. I mean, normally India ends up being controlled by Vijayanaga, but... Wow, I've not seen that before. The Horde's been doing so well in this game. <laughs> Golden Horde will concede defeat. No, thank you. War exhaustion is creeping up. The territory in Kazakh is going through Samarkand, which, as I believe, is down here. So by colonising then we'll be able to get some more trade for Astrakhan and hopefully stabilise as a centre of trade. I should also get some merchants into Solikamsk if I'm going to keep it as a centre of trade. So now I'm really wishing I'd taken the decision to <laughs> get extra colonists. We need to take up three more times before I'll be allowed another idea, so that's not really on the cards. By the time we're willing to benefit from that, we will no longer need them. Ah, we've discovered Chagatai. here. Seven infantry and three cavalry. Let's build three infantry and two cavalry. They're just designed as a troop to deal with any revolts. Ah, the Mamluks is now defender of the Sunni faith, so it's time to go to war. 25% infamy to annex them, so let's go. And after all that, the Mamluks didn't even join in. destination in a few months time. I'm going to hold off before I send another colonist out, because I'll be able to take Kuban soon. So once this siege breaks, we will be able to annex Azal and get to colonising Kuban. I 
Loy von Erishkin. Scholars have discovered ancient documents tracing the heritage of our noble dynasty back to Julius Caesar himself. Hurrah! A nice little bonus to legitimacy, which will reduce our revolt risk. <laughs> Come back! Good, they've been caught and dealt with. Okay, another discovery. Pencer has defected to us. Hurrah. Chaps, we have a siege to win. Ah, we lost North Ufa. Oh, they were one day away. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> Good, I should hope so. <laughs> Grr. Okay, Tumen seems to be able to support 11,000 troops, so you can rest there for now. We should take this siege now that the walls have been breached. Okay, so... As you get annexed for 2 infamy. And we begin colonising Kuban. Okay, well, I'll end this episode for now. Uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching.